Hey guys, Mac Eclipse here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get free apps on your iDevice. And the first thing you're going to do is open Cydia. Okay, so once it's opened, you're going to go to Manage at the bottom over here, and you're going to, oops, you're going to go to Sources, and you're going to click Edit, Add at the top. And this will add the source that you need to get the package. So you're going to type in Cydia. Oops. Cydia. Dot. Hackalo. Dot. US. Slash. And you're going to press add source. I already have it. So once you press add source, it will install it. And it might take a little bit. And then done and you're gonna go to the source on here right there and you're going to go down to install is for and this is the app that you can install free apps from so I already have it installed but it doesn't recognize it apparently so you're gonna hit install top right corner and then mine's taking a while you're gonna hit load I mean confirm at the top right corner and then it will take a little bit to install I'm just gonna wait for that and so once you have it installed you can go to your home and it should be on your apps it's in my folder you're gonna click on it and it's really easy basically all you're gonna do is search for the app you want to <clears throat> you want to install for free so go to search and let's just type in angry birds space and it should pop up right here it's really good so you're gonna click on Angry Birds space and you're gonna go download and you're gonna choose one of these links I'll just choose this one and then it will ask you to confirm the code okay so once you enter that code you can click download here it will be different depending on what link you click, but you're just going to click download. Okay, so I have to do it on here now since my screen recording wasn't working. So it downloaded, and then you're going to click it and press install. And it will install, and if it didn't work, then um, do it on the other, try another link when you first download it. And in settings, you can go to home and then settings, and you can check these. And it will just make it faster, install automatically, delete automatically in iTunes Sync. So you don't have to manually do all that stuff. And that's it. Thanks for watching.